on guys, Tampa Champ Bricks here, back with another update video of building the Grand Army in LEGO. First and foremost, I want to thank you all for patiently waiting for this update 3 to this building series. I know it's been a long 8 months since the last update and I apologize. Unfortunately, sometimes life takes place and it's more important, but now that I have some free time, let's get back into it. If you like this update and you want to see more of it, make sure you guys let me know by commenting down below. Also, don't forget to smash that like button. Last update, we got around 50 likes, which is insane. Let's make a like goal for this update and try to get 100 likes. If you're new to the channel and would like to support, all I ask is that you hit the subscribe button down below. We are so close to our sub goal. Alright, with all that set aside, let's go into what I have planned for this update. So last update, which I have out here on the left, we were kind of prototyping a design for what I had planned to do for the floor. We agreed to continue to use snot, however I think I want to change up the design of how I want to connect the snot to the base plates themselves which I'll explain later in the video. We did receive a bunch of parts in since the last update, so I'll be getting in and unboxing those as well in the first part of this video. Now let's not waste any more time and let's get into the unboxing of those packages. If you're not interested in the haul part of the video and you wanna skip ahead to the building time-lapse, you can do so by scrolling down below and jumping over to the time-lapse chapter of this video. All right guys, so just like always, I'm gonna start with the smaller packages and then move on to the larger packages. I'm going to leave all the store owners down in the description below, so make sure you guys go check them out and support them. Most of these parts are from Bricklink, so I'll just kind of go really quick with the unboxing of these packages. So the first package we have is from Howling Bricks. This is a part list or parts, so these are like the two by two tiles that are inverted. Um, they'll be nice for making the edges and stuff like that. So put those ones to the side. The next package is going to be from Tack Bricks. Uh, this is going to be a bunch of one by two light bluish gray bricks. So that's always nice to have for the mock. Next package is going to be from, um, I kind of cut this one, Joanne S, oh yeah, Joanne's 23. So this is going to be a more parts Let's see here, Let's see if I can get this one unboxed. So this one looks like a bunch of 2x4 plates. It's really helpful, really useful for the mock. I'll throw that off to the side, thank you for those. The next package is going to be from Brick Junkies, and this is going to be a bunch. Oh, he sent me some candy, that's cool. Oh, and he's got a card. Let's see if I can kind of focus that up for you guys. Uh, Brick Junkies, he sent out a bunch of these 2x4 uh, tile pieces with the kind of Technic piece on top of the tile. Um, oh, and uh, also a bunch of these 1x2 angled bricks, which are pretty cool. So I don't know if you guys can see those. But a bunch of, let me grab these tile pieces out. A bunch of these as well. So those are pretty cool. Those are going to be some useful parts. Throw those off to the side, thank you. Next package is going to be from Midwest Brick Factory. Let's see what came in. Okay, so these are a bunch of two by one with the Technic centered out, so the holes. So that's gonna be really useful for the mock. So thank you for those. Next package, this is kind of a large package, this is Brink League Parts. Um, I don't know who it's from, I don't remember. Off the top of my head, let me look at the packaging. Oh, Bricks a Spot. Bricks a Spot. So yeah, thank you Bricks a Spot for sending me out these. These are again, the two by two, or two by two by one with the studs on the side, kind of brick pieces. Um, there's certain parts that I have an idea for, for these. Go ahead and set these to the side. Next up, this is from Brian's Bricks. And boy, is that a lot of bricks. So I got a lot of these two by three uh, bricks, light blue spray. I don't know how many, it's a big bag. As well as a bunch of two by four light blue spray bricks. That's a lot of bricks too. Hopefully to finish that one base plate off. All right, so let's move on to the bigger packages. So this first little package is from a seller called Popsy. I'll go ahead and open it up. Oh, okay. Let's see here. A bunch of bricks that aren't bagged or anything, but um, let's see here. So these are the two by two black bricks. So I got a bunch of these, which is really nice to have. I got these, some more of those two by two tiles with the Technic stud. 
for the Technic piece on them. The next one is going to be another Brick Link order from Bricks Picks. Uh, a bunch of two by two black tile pieces. So that's really nice. Thank you. And lastly, I have this large box. Um, this is going to be from a lot of bricks, and it's of course a, a lot of bricks. So go ahead and open this up. Put that to the side. Kind of fold this. Oh man, it's a package inside a box. So cool. So this looks like a giant bag of. Two by four light blue gray bricks. All right, guys. It looks like we went ahead and cleared off the table. Oh wait, there's one more. That's right. This package is probably the most expensive package that is going to be in this video. This package came from New Zealand from a company named Has Bricks. So make sure you guys check out his Brickling store. This is one of the more important sides to this mock, and that's going to be what's inside this box. So as I open this box, you can see he really did a well job at packaging what's inside. I'm going to gently cut open one end of this tape on the bubble wrap here on this side. I might be able to actually tear it. Look at that, you guys. Just look at that. That is awesome. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, boy. Look at that, you guys. Look at all these clones. See these clones? For those that don't know, are the clones that I have in my mock. My favorite clones. The only clones that I really collect. And a mass amount. So I got about 52 of these brand new from Hasbriggs. And uh, again, thank you, Hasbricks, for actually sh shipping these out as quick as you did. I really do appreciate it. All these figures look brand freaking new, and they're all in their own plastic bags. So I don't really need to worry about them too much. But this is going to be a great addition to the Grand Army, and let me tell you. So yeah, guys, now that we have all the parts unboxed and all these figures unpackaged, let's go ahead and dive into the mock part of this update. All right, guys, so I have the prototype design kind of set out off to the side of the table. I'm going to be bringing out another base plate. I'm going to be trying to create the final design for how I want to connect the floor to the actual base plate. Hopefully by the end of the update, we can have maybe one of these complete, maybe two, hopefully two, that's the goal. Depending on parts and pieces, it may vary. Definitely, I will have one of these done and completed by the end of the video. So yeah, guys, with that set aside, let's go ahead and jump into the time lapse of the update. All right, guys, so before I get too in-depth with the time lapse, I kind of want to show you guys what I have in mind. So this was kind of the old technique to put the floor um, on the snot technique down onto this tile. And you can see there's pretty much a large gap. So what I did to kind of change this is I went ahead and added the 2 by 2 Technic piece. I went ahead and put another brick, a 1 by 2 brick on top of that. And hopefully what this will do is kind of keep this flush. So as you can see, it's uh, more flush to the actual tile instead of raised up. So yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and change it to this technique, kind of get rid of the old design. I'm going to be changing the actual floor to implement these uh, one by two Technic pieces.
Alright you guys, so we were able to finish one of the base plates and made really good progress on the second one. Hopefully by the next update we'll have three, possibly four base plates completed. I hope you guys were able to see how I was able to make the flooring with the black trim around it. I was able to make this trim with more of a tile and then I used the black tile, 2x2 two two tiles along all the edges. I really like this new design. I feel like the flooring overall is a lot smoother and think that this will be the final design for the mock. As you can see, the black border is actually flush on the ends here, unlike the last or previous prototype version. The base plates are also flush when connecting them with the Technic piece, keeping the base plates modular, which is one of the overall goals. And overall, I really like the way these clones sit on top of the snot version versus the tile. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Do you guys like this final design, or do you like the prototype, or do you even like the tile version better? Overall, I think we made really good progress on this mock. Hopefully, we can continue making progress on this mock. Thank you to everyone that has contributed and has stayed along and followed along for this journey. I can't thank you guys enough for your support. And as always, guys, if you liked this video, make sure you go and hit that like button down below. It lets me know that you guys really do enjoy these mock building series. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to stay up to date when I release videos like this one, go ahead and hit that notification bell. The best and quickest way to see when I release YouTube videos is following my Instagram straight on the screen now, and I'll see you in the next update.